Where are the best patatas bravas in Madrid? Today, fearless Spain lovers, we're going to five bars that serve the best, and we're going to see which is our favorite out of the five top ones. I'm hungry. Are you hungry, Yoli? I am, yes. Very oh hungry. Much. So, venga, mm. let's go. Hey Spain lovers, I'm James Blick. And I'm Yolanda Martin. And welcome to Spain Revealed. As you know, this channel is all about exploring Spain like a local. And there's nothing more local than Bravas, right? Every local has their favorite Bravas. Totally, and if you're not local and you're wondering, what the hell is Yoli talking about? What am I talking about? What are Bravas? This is Patatas Bravas, a very typical tapa here in Madrid. It was invented here in Madrid in the 40s or 50s. And effectively, it's double fried potatoes. So they're crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, and they're covered in this paprika spicy sauce, which is really, really delicious. And so many places in the city say they make the best ones, but we're gonna go to five great places and really see which is the best. First stop is a place that's super famous for it. It's just around the corner. We're gonna head there now. Okay, first stop, Las Bradas. This place opened in 1933, and these guys are famous for it. I think it's patented, this Bradas sauce. It is, sauce. yeah, it's registered. Super classic. Let's go in. After you. After me. <laughs> Hola, ¿qué tal? Hola, <laughs> Salud. <laughs> Okay, so the Bravas have arrived. They came, here they are, Yoli's got them. They came in about two minutes. So these guys turn out so many, it's a real fast food. I like how big they are. I like a big Brava. Yeah. Uh, sometimes places do them smaller. And you were reading about the sauce. What's in the sauce, Yeah, Yoli? so in the sauce, we have olive oil, a little bit of flour, Spanish paprika, the sweet and the hot. Also garlic and also ginger, which is apparently their secret. First reaction. quite smoky, I like that. It has a touch of um, heat, you know. I, I wonder whether some Spaniards would consider this a little bit too hot because we Spaniards don't have high tolerance for hot food, so. so um, yeah, it's quite spicy. It's yeah, very enjoyable, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, there's some kick in the back of the throat. I would prefer a potato was a little crispier on the outside, but it is quite pillowy on the inside, so I'm getting that. A good, solid, classic brava. This place is if you want to get a classic brava, it's fast, it's good, it's yummy. I think this is a great option. And the price at the bar, $4.35, sitting at the table, $4.95. So standard bravas price. So I'm happy, I'm happy. Salud to las bravas. Pretty good. So a little more insight to where bravas came from. They're from Madrid. They were invented, as I say, about in the 40s, 50s, 60s. And they were a dish that was for poor people. And the spiciness, apparently, one of the reasons they were spicy is because spicy food takes away your hunger. And apparently they were a huge hit in a, in a variety of bars, a couple of which don't exist anymore. And so there were queues outside of people to waiting to get in and have bravas. And one of the other things is, in the 70s, bravas spread to Barcelona. And so if you go to Barcelona now, there's bravas everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And actually, Asquabarra, this next place, takes its Brava style from that East Coast kind of Valencia, Barcelona style, which includes alioli. Alioli, yummy. So immediately you can tell we're in a place that's very different from Las Bravas. This one, Asquabarra, is very, very modern. Relatively speaking, these guys are originally from Valencia and they do great meat here. But what we have in particular, obviously, are bravas. Oh yeah. What the alioli adds is a kind of creaminess, a garlickiness that is absolutely delicious. These aren't too spicy, which is interesting. The Madrid style, maybe Madrid style, correct me if, if I'm wrong here, anybody who's living in Barcelona, Valencia, I think you don't get necessarily as much heat in the Barcelona style. The Madrid ones are a little spicier, but it's so yummy and umami-y when you get that garlic. And you also get the paprika-y kind of olive oil. Such a wonderful combination. So, gracias. muchas gracias, Oli. I've got Yoli in front of me and Oli on to my right. Very confusing. Mm -hmm. And a smokiness as well. 
It comes from the paprika, and these are really, really good. I think I might still love the bigger size Brava more, but hey, I am not complaining. Yoli, it's your turn, see what you think. I expected more garlic in here. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, I love garlic, I'm a huge fan of garlic, so. Mm, very yummy. I like the, the salt in there. Mm. Okay. Lovely. So one of the things I love about this kind of style Brava sauce is look at that, all the beautiful oily, garlicky, paprikey juiciness down there at the bottom. Perfect to kind of dip your bread into or whatever it may be. <laughs> I can't stop. We're being very picky. It's because we're comparing the best of the best. And so that's why we're really looking at the slight little differences and things like that. But in the end, when you see this regional variation between these dishes, you realize that, you know, I love Barcelona style, I love Madrid style, and it is really hard to compare them, but these are yummy. Thumbs up for Asquavarra. Okay, so those ones in Asquavarra were the gourmet option. They were nine euros, so you do get a lot of them, but yeah, man, they were delicious. We couldn't stop eating them. By the end, we had the bowl empty. We finished it, yeah. We finished it, and you know, we even know what's coming, and Yoli was getting the bread in there, so it was out of control. <laughs> All right, we are now leaving the old city. We're gonna hop on the metro, and we're going up to the Iglesia neighborhood to a place called Bodega La Ardosa, which is, I've never been there, but apparently it's famous for its bravas. Okay, salud Yoli, here we are. Salud. Stop number three, Bodega La Ardosa. Now there's another one of these which is really well known in Malasaña, in Calle Colón. I haven't been to this one before. About 100 years ago, this was a chain of, of wine shops, of bodegas effectively, and there's only two that remain now, and this is one of them. Now, now different owners, and these are the guys that are really famous for their bravas. So it's a beautiful old place, as you can see here, just on the main street. And the brava sauce that we have here is the original recipe from 1919, they said, from the owner's great great grandfather yes. okay one of the things i love about this bar is you don't get cutlery you just get the toothpicks and that's a real classic madrid thing so the potatoes are not as crunchy as i like them i think the previous two stops the potatoes were better but i really like this sauce it is it's got some real spice to it in the back of your throat it makes you want to drink that caña So yeah, very surprising the flavor of the sauce. I didn't expect it. Like it, it almost is like an Asian thing going on. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the heat. You know, I mean, it is quite hot, and I love that. It's almost like coconut milk or coconut you know, milk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I get something that you know I wasn't expecting at all. You know. Yeah, funny. So we're gonna interrupt this transmission for a moment to let you know that Yoli is a super taster. She has a much better palate than me. She made a joke on Instagram the other day that maybe she needs to take over this channel because when I don't make videos without her, people are like, where's Yoli? So Yoli just said that she tastes coconut milk. Now, I don't know if there's coconut milk in here. I suspect there's not, but to even have that thought shows the level of your palate. Thank you very much. Woman of few words, but a super taster. <laughs> Cheers to your palate. Salud. Salud to Yoli's palate. I feel like we need to talk about that last place, Bodega La Ardosa. I love those beautiful old places, gorgeous. It's like that's what those places were like 100 years ago. It's like a village bar. Yeah. But the Bravas, not the best so far. As I say, they were lacking crispiness in the fry, and something happened. There wasn't enough salt or something on them because I reckon I, they forgot the salt. We think they might have forgotten the salt. Maybe they're much better usually. I feel like they must be because in little bits where I got salt, they were they were good. The flavor came out. So. I don't know, like, uh, yeah, not our favorite at all so far, but they're usually better, I think. So, bad luck. Next stop, we're going modern now, Maruca. Okay, here we are on La Maruca. It's a classy joint, and the menu is big and classy and white, and I'm looking for bravas. Here we go, 9.50, most expensive so far. So, patatas bravas, La Maruca. We're gonna do that. Y una de bravas, por favor. And this is the first time we've been given a little tablecloth, a little place setting for our brava. So we're dealing with serious high cuisine here. I'm excited to see what they look like. Okay, we're not in Kansas anymore, Yali. This is Barrio Salamanca Bravas, where the beer comes in wine glasses and all your dreams come true. <laughs> Salud. 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 
Okay, the Bravas have come, the Salamanca Bravas. Nine euros fifty, there's probably a half a potato here, so not a lot of potato bang for your buck, but uh, we're expecting luxury. It has that crispy, crunchy onion stuff on the top, and it looks like there's alioli and brava sauce, a mixture of brava sauces, so a little like the second place, Asquavarra. Ooh. Interesting. Tastes a bit like a hot dog. There's like almost like a sweetness in there that you don't normally get with the bravas. An almost ketchupy sweetness. I mean, these are very different. And to be honest, they're yummy. You want to keep eating them. They're like Moorish, but they're too sweet for me. There's a little bit of heat in the back of my throat. But they're a little too sweet. It's that ketchupy flavor that's in there. So I'm kind of, I'm on the fence on these. Let's see what you think, Yoli. Hey, so my turn now. Okay. Totally, what you were saying. There's that sweetness that I didn't expect so much. Probably coming from the onion, you know, the kind of caramelized sort of fried onion in there. Um, it's yummy, but it's not what I expect from a brava sauce, I guess. The potatoes are nice. They're not crunchy on the outside, but I don't mind that. I'm not a big fan of this fried onion thing that you can just kind of buy and like throw you know, on top of the stuff, I don't, yeah, I don't really enjoy it that much. It's like a perrito, like a hot dog. They're not very hot either, like the temperature of the potatoes. So I feel a little bad. Here we are hating on these bravas, man. <laughs> I hope nobody speaks English around us who runs um. this place. They're not quite what I expect when I order bravas. I expect something a little more challenging around heat, around spice. Yes, exactly. And so the Yum. crunchy onion stuff, which you see everywhere, comes out of a plastic bag, I think. I don't think they make that. The sort of sweetness of the sauce, it reminds me of having a hot dog, and, but not what I expect when I expect bravas, but if you don't call them bravas, well, a yummy potato dish, hot doggy potatoes. <laughs> okay, state of play, where are we at? We've done two traditionals and two moderns. Modern. I mean, the modern winner so far is totally Ascuabarra, by far, oh, over yeah. La Maruca. And the traditional winner is obviously Las Bravas, the first one, yeah. over yeah. Bodega La Rosa. But now we're going to the place that many people say is the best yeah. in wow. Madrid, Docamar, in yeah. Quintana. We're going way out into the suburbs <laughs> here, into the barrios, Quintana. So the question is, will Docamar totally arrasar destroy the places that have come before with like Asquabarra and Las Bravas or will one of those two hold firm and be the champion? I can feel the tension in the air. People walking past us are worried. People are talking to us. They don't know what's going on. They're fighting for their favorite Bravas. Okay, back on the metro, out to Quintana this time, and there was something you wanted to say, Yoni. Yeah, just uh, these Bravas are making me thirsty. These Bravas are making me thirsty. If you get the reference, put it in the comments below what you think that's a reference to, and the winner will win a lifetime supply of our admiration. These bravas are making me thirsty. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. So Yoli, I was reading about this place online, Doc Amar. It opened in 1963, uh -huh. still in the same family, right. and they do 3,000 kilos of potatoes for patatas bravas a week. Now that's a lot of potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. And they have their own sauce, like Las Bravas, like the first place, they have their own sauce. I don't know if it's patented, right. but they do bottle it and sell it for you to take it home. So it's the full deal here. Okay, so as is the ritual, una cañita. Una cañita. Salud, Salud mi amor. Oye. All right, brava time. Let's see if they stand up. Okay, the famous Docamar. I can get a whiff already. It reminds me of Las Bravas, of the first place we were at. So this is a real classic Madrid Brava sauce. This is like the classic, so. Mm. I mean, what can I say? They're really delicious. They're like Las Bravas. I think I prefer these slightly more to Las Bravas because there's a little more heat in the back of the throat. Yoli, I'd like to know what you think. Right. Very yummy. I agree with you. I like the smokiness. Very, very similar to the first ones we had, the La Brava sauce. But this has, uh, I think, a little bit more heat. Yeah, they're a bit hotter. I love them. Okay, so here, as I mentioned, these guys bottle their own sauce. So here we have the Salsa Secreta, secret sauce, Las Mejores Bravas de Madrid. And they have no D on Madrid, so it imitates the accent, Madrid. And you know what? It's time for us to decide, Yoli. Let's put our heads together and tell these people who the winner is for the best Bravas in Madrid. All right, the Champagne Caña moment. Who won the Brava challenge? Well, life is complicated. 
first we're gonna say that. So there were a lot of great contenders. Yeah. Runner up, who is runner up? Asquabarra. Asquabarra. Yeah. So that was like that Mediterranean brava. Our second stop is runner up. And who are we gonna call the winner? These guys, Docamar. Docamar has won. Las Bravas, the first place was good, but these guys just pipped it on the heat and on yeah. the, the cocción, on the yeah. cooking of the potato. Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? I totally agree with the decision. I've actually pushed it. <laughs> Yoli has been pushing this decision. Maybe this is eight cañas later after that last one has been really deciding. Come for bravas. Come and eat these bravas. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video. We would love that. Yoli's mum would love that. Yeah, and subscribe if you want to join us in more videos because my mum would love that. So do it for the mothers. All right. See you in the next video. Salud. Hasta luego. Salud. Ciao.